Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service, and today we're going to be talking about why your John Deere subcompact tractor uh, PTO is not functioning properly. We're going to talk about some possible reasons and causes for that. Okay, this particular tractor I'm working on today is a 2021 John Deere 3025E. They also make the 3032 and the 3038. I'm sure the process is going to be the same. But this is a 2021 uh, 3025E. Okay, so I went to use my PTO and I had nothing turning back there. And I hit my PTO switch, had my engine running, hit my PTO switch. I had my little screen here say PTO engage, 550 RPMs. And so the switch was on, it's telling me it's engaged, it's telling me I got 550 RPMs like it's running, and, but it's not. So I don't know where it got that information from, but uh, it was not running. I did not have the PTO spinning back there. So we unhooked the tool that was hooked up to it and we just wanted to see if it was just turning that shaft, which it was not. So we decided we better look into this further. And possible causes were uh, the solenoids bad or um, not plugged in or things like that. So we had to figure out how to get to the solenoid. All right, first thing you want to do before you work on this is jack it up with a good jack and put some jack stands underneath there. Make sure your parking brakes on. Uh, safety is always first. Okay, next you want to chalk those front wheels. You want to make sure that this thing is not going to roll for nothing on you. And uh, how you get to the solenoid is you got to take this tire off right here. Okay, that's the first thing. Once you pull that tire off, you're going to be able to get to all your wiring and your solenoid and everything. And your solenoid is right back here, okay? It's got this wire plugged into it down here. It's this thing sticking right out, uh, two bolts. And uh, that could be the cause, or it could be wiring, or what have you. Uh, what we found with ours is this wire here on the end, this, the sticks in the end, that was unplugged. Now, I don't know if it got unplugged itself for the last time the mechanics worked on this thing. They forgot to plug it in. I, I really don't know. but. That's all the problem was with ours, is that was not plugged in all of the way. But if that's not it, it could be that solenoid. And uh, like I said, it comes out with two bolts, and this is how you get to the solenoid to check that. So the first thing you wanna do uh, when you're diagnosing this is you'll turn on your switch, make sure you got power to your switch, make sure your dash up there says uh, PTO engage, 550 RPMs. And if that ain't it, it's your next thing to check would be this plug that goes into the solenoid. And you just take a multimeter and uh, plug it in there and make sure that's got the 12 volts coming down to it that you need to have on that wire. And if you do have the 12 volts down to that wire, uh, the next logical thing would probably be the solenoid uh, went bad. Okay, if this switch is on then you should have a light in there if you don't have a light you could have a fuse problem and i'll show you how to locate that fuse box okay behind this shroud this shroud goes all the way across the top this just pops off behind this shroud is your fuse box so if you ever need to check your fuses this is where the fuse box is going to be located on this particular tractor and i'm working on a john deere 3025 e today but I'm sure the 3038 and the 3032 are all the same. They just have the different engines, so the process should be all the same. Okay, so if you had power down those wires, next thing you can do is check and see if that solenoid has a magnetic charge to it. You just stick a screwdriver or something on there, and that should suck it right on if it has a magnetic pull to it. If it doesn't, it's possible that solenoid is just bad. Now, when you do this test with a screwdriver, you want to make sure your tractor's turned on and your engine is running and the PTO switch is engaged as well. Okay, so if it's not magnetized, then it's probably your coil is bad. Now, not another possible cause uh, is there's a plunger behind that solenoid. And if that plunger's stuck because it hasn't been used for a long time, 
uh, that will also do it. So what you do is you take that coil out of there and you spray inside of that hole with WD-40 really good and uh, work that plunger a little bit. Because sometimes a plunger just won't go because you haven't used it for ages. So you got to make sure that plunger is engaging. So I just spray it really well, work that plunger, and see if that'll uh, solve your problem. Okay, so like I said, in our situation, it was this wire right here. This wire was unplugged and tucked up. So I think maybe it just forgot to get plugged in the last time this thing was serviced. But uh, that was the only problem with ours. We just had to plug in that wire and um, away we went. And so after that, you're just gonna put this uh, tire back on here, make sure everything's lugged up good and you're good to go. All right, so those are some things you can check uh, quick and easy that we discovered. Hopefully that will solve the problem for you. It's one of those things. It's the plug, it's the coil, it's the plunger. Uh, those are some things you can do to try to uh, save yourself from running into the mechanic. They're quick and easy. I think the hardest part is taking the tire off. So uh, hopefully those things will help you out and get you down the road and get your PTO working again. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully that'll help you. Uh, we're going to have a lot more videos coming out on this tractor and other John Deere stuff if you want to subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button. This is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service.